background to film an intro. So I was having one of these moments where I was staring at the microwave while my mac and cheese was cooking, and I felt like I had to film a video right now. And now we are here. And yes, I managed to burn my microwave bowl of mac and cheese. So this is a completely impromptu video. I just got off work, threw on some red lipstick, and now we're here. So before we get started, I should probably address the fact that yes, we are in a new location. This is my new filming room situation or whatever you want to call it. I think I'm going to wallpaper the walls and this will probably be white, right, whoa, a white rug. So this is not what the background's going to look like. I'm just still moving in. If you want to see how I'm decorating my room and moving in and everything, I do have room vlogs which I will link over here and they will open in a new video if you want to watch those. So I've had my Mimi box sitting in the corner of this room this whole time. So I thought today would be a good moment to open it and see what's inside. So I've done a couple Mimi box unboxing videos and you guys seem to like them. It's basically a Korean beauty box service and all the info on them will be down below. It's not a subscription, you don't have to commit. I love it. I've been really happy with some of the stuff I've received in these boxes so far. A couple of them were in my last Race and Rejects video. Since they are sending me these, they do send like really random ass boxes. I got like the whole wheat box and the skincare box. And I think this time I got the global box. That's what it said in the email. So I'm super excited to see what's in here. What are global things? Okay, so yes, they have Mimi Box Global number 13 and there's always coupon codes in the down bar if you want to check out Mimi Box. I'm just going to go by whatever I pull out first. This is Soy Bio Plus, it says. So this is supposed to prevent the formation of fine lines and wrinkles. Apply two to three drops and just pat it into your skin. So it's supposed to help with wrinkles and brightening and things. And it looks like there's two little bottles in here. I don't know if these are different things. It looks like they're the same thing. I think they're just two little mini dropper things. And it looks like there's a CC cream, which I'm super excited about. I've never tried a CC cream. I have had really shitty luck with BB creams though. There's something in BB creams that like horribly break out my skin. It took my skin a good like month to recover from the Maybelline BB cream. Just open this, this is big. This is called Sun Base Color Control Cream. It has SPF 50. It looks like it's supposed to be whitening and has wrinkle improvement. And there's a pump, hallelujah. We love our pumps. This retails for $54, holy shit. I wonder if this is gonna be light enough. Korean BB creams are usually a lot lighter than American BB creams. Let's see what color this is. Any day now. Come on, man. Whoa, it looks like white. I don't know if I just didn't shake that up. Can you guys see that? Oh, weird. So once you like rub it in, the color appears. I wonder if this is supposed to be like skin tone adjusting. It smells really good. It smells like some kind of like lotion you get at the spa, because I go to the spa so often. Feels really light on my skin, but it actually covered like all of my hand freckles and things. Ooh, now we got some volume. I think these are tampons. Wow, they have a very visual diagram in case you don't know how to put a tampon in. All this is in Korean. Um, let's read about tampons because we don't know anything about them. It's made from 100% purely organic cotton. Okay, well I guess that'll be kind of cool to see how they compare to American tampons. Keep you guys updated on that one. Just kidding. Ooh, what is this? This looks interesting. So this retails for $48. So it looks like this is some kind of face cream. Has all these like organic wheat bud extracts and shit. Super classy packaging. Let's see how this thing smells. Ooh, oh man. I don't think I've ever smelled something like this. I am at a loss for words. It smells a little bit better when you rub it into your skin. Now it smells like something. It feels super lightweight, almost a little bit greasy. Yeah, it definitely feels a little bit greasy. Ooh, very greasy. I don't know if I'm putting that on my face. If nothing else, I might clean out the jar. So then we have a Derma Scalp Shampoo. So this is supposed to deep cleanse your scalp, remove any excess things you got going on. Refresh with tea tree oil. Ooh, it probably smells really good. It smells very minty and tea tree-ish. I'm excited to use this. Then there's this thing. So this is basically a sunblock that has SPF 42. Whoa, I think it's orange. It has this like peach color to it. Oof, God. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. All right, so the last thing in the box is this big long thing. Alright guys, this one sounds uh, interesting. I don't think I can even sum this up, 
so I'm just gonna read it. Made from carbonated water, this carboxy pack creates sparkling bubbles on your face. It may prickle a little bit as the bubbles penetrate deep into the skin. I guess it's kind of a mask. Maybe I'll use this in like a vlog. This is like a whole contraption. Holy fuck. I'm not gonna lie, this is like really intimidating. What the fuck is this, you guys? This is an optimal thumbnail time. All right, comment down below if you wanna see that in a vlog. So that was everything that was in that Mimi box. There are a shit ton of different kind of Mimi boxes. There are makeup ones, skincare ones, hair ones, I think. There are tons of different boxes for whatever you're into. If I was purchasing these on my own, I probably wouldn't opt for like something like this. I am really stoked about the BB cream or CC cream, whatever it is, and then this shampoo. So I think that's it. Quick update, I don't know when this video will be up, but I have two vlogs coming. I have an apartment vlog and a vlogger fair vlog coming, and I'm trying to like throw in videos in between those so it's not just like all vlogs all of a sudden randomly. I will have some exciting Shadow and Shoes videos coming up. I have some cool products that I'm excited to use in those videos. If you're wondering, my necklace is from Etsy. The store is called Layered and Long, but this is so freaking beautiful. The lady was so sweet. You can custom make like whatever layers you want. I'm just kind of obsessed with it and I think it's so pretty. If you like this video and you want to see more unboxing videos, be sure to give this a thumbs up so I know. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.